Hi, what's up YouTube? It's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be presenting you eight of my men's back to school essentials. Before we get into the video, if you're into your men's fashion, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button. It should be located in one of these bottom corners. So the first back to school essential I'll have to show you is bags. Literally everyone needs a bag pack to take to school, whether it be to carry out your food, your laptop, your stencils, etc. It carries pretty much everything. I'm going to show you two of my bag packs I've got. I've got this all black Puma one. I work at Puma's, so I got this for £15. It's got bigger, more compartments, carries a lot. And the second one's a more fashionable one. This one's from Top Man, it's like a Dunlop leather one. Just two sections right here. With me, I chose black because black goes with pretty much everything to wear with all your outfits. It also doesn't go that dirty. So other brands you can buy backpacks from, I wouldn't tend to spend too much on backpacks because for school you can wear them every single day, throwing them on the floor, etc. So you don't want to be caring about getting them damaged. So other brands are such as Eastpack, Herschel or MKI. Another type of bag which you can wear, which you're wearing for like lighter days, we only bring a few things in, like for uni. Some days I only have like two hours in uni, so all I need to bring is literally my laptop. I take my tote bag, and the tote bag I have to show you here, you've probably seen it in my monthly pickups, I made these myself, it is these Commodore Garcon tote bags. And I'm going to be selling these on my Depop for £13 for any of you that are interested. So the second back to school essential it is trainers. I split this into two sections. The first section being your higher end favourite sneakers. Basically sometimes in school you want to be like flexing, showing your best stuff. And like when you dress well, you feel better. So for my two ones I'm going to show you right now, I've got my Gucci's right here. And then my second one, I've got my all black Yeezys. I've got a black pair and a white pair, so when I'm dressing up well. But then other days, coming to the second section, sometimes in school, literally, you just can't be arsed. You just want to throw something on, you're waking up late. So you have some beaters or just some cheaper shoes. So for mine, I've got these white Reebok classics right here. And then, as always, one of the most popular shoes of 2017, it is the black and white Vans Old Schools. I've also done a sneaker collection video. If you want to check it out, then I'll leave the link in my bio too. So now comes the third back to school essential. It is denim, jeans especially. So for these, you should basically have the two main colors. I'd say a light wash ones and a black pair. I literally go with complement with so many outfits like black shoes, white shoes, etc. For now brands, the fit, you can choose whatever you want. If you want to go for cheaper end, you just go to your high street stores such as like Topman, Zara, River Island. They all do like some good denim and also ASOS for online ones. The good thing with ASOS is you get free returns. So if they don't fit well, you can just send them straight back. As you all know from my Instagram, I kind of like my distressed zipper jeans. So for a few like middle class brands which aren't too expensive, like about 60 to 65 pounds, there's Minimal LA, Section Store and Hyper Denim. And then if you want to go to that bit higher class, the good quality stuff which went to the last years, you can go to like Represent, which is about £100, and also Levi's, which is about £80. So the fourth men's back to school essential, once again it's a pair of trousers, it is trackies slash joggers. Basically you need these in your wardrobe because sometimes in school, once again, myself with the beater shoes, you're going to wake up, you can't be off really dressing up well, showing off, you literally just want to be comfy, you could have been on a night out before, say like uni, go out all the time. You just want to be comfy and you don't care about dressing up well. So I'm going to split this into two sections. The first one is joggers. For joggers, I'd recommend a variety of brands such as like Champion Joggers. I picked mine up for like £8 and stuff like Zara, Top Man, Forever 21. Forever 21, I actually picked up them crop smart ones of the two lines down, which you lot have all been asking where I got them from. So now the second section it is trackies. The ones that everyone should have in their wardrobe, I think it is the Adidas Techno Pants or the three white stripes on the side. The tapered fit, literally one of the best trousers of 2017 and 2016. So the second brand I'd recommend to buy track pants from it is DSRVC. They're an upcoming brand. They've been smashing it all over Instagram. They're the brand which have like the different coloured seam running down the leg and they have the long drawstrings. If you saw my top five hype beast Instagrams, you would have seen people like Zap Dio wearing them and also that Mike Neal. They basically have the long white drawstrings, they're black and they have like the white strip down the side as well. They're at a relatively cheap price point as well. So the fifth back to school essential, this is necessary in everyone's wardrobe, it is basic t-shirts and graphic tees. I'm gonna split this in a variety of sections. The first one is just plain graphic tees. I wouldn't spend more than 10 pounds on these. Variety place you can get them from is the high street stores such as like Zara, H&M, Topman. These are just literally ones that you can throw on under jackets, just simple fits. And the second type of t-shirt that is graphic tees. I'm going to split these in sections as well. The first one can be skateboard tees. You can check out places like Supreme, Palace, Thrasher, the list goes on. Then for vintage ones, you go for like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Sport, Nautica. And the last one it is higher end ones, such as like Represent, ADYN and other UK. So when it comes to t-shirts, I'd honestly recommend getting a variety of graphic tees and basic tees. It lets you mix up your wardrobe, makes it very flexible. Like I have a load of skate tees, vintage tees, basic tees. I have a mixture of everything. I like my style to be different all the time. So coming in at number six, it is oversized hoodies and sweatshirts. These are really good because they are comfy, they are fashionable, and they're relatively cheap depending on the brand you buy. To start with oversized sweatshirts, I'd recommend vintage ones. Vintage ones have got the best look. They're a bit different. They're better quality, I feel. They use like thicker materials back in the day and they have like embroidery. So brands this I'd recommend which ones that I wear are like Tommy Hilfiger, Polo Sport, Polo Bear, Champion, Nike, Adidas. 
Papa, literally these ones are just like oversized and they're different. You're not gonna find people wearing the exact same one as you. The second type of sweatshirts are going for cheaper, they're just like plain ones. I check out plain blanks, which is like Gildan and Fruit of the Loom. But also, I recommend going to check out your local HM because HM do a lot of cheaper alternatives to the higher end brands. A good example is the Raw Edge Hyder Ackerman sweatshirt. HM brought these out in like a grey, an olive, and a beige. And now for the oversized hoodies, the ones that are good quality, which are really cheap, I'd say are champion hoodies. You can get just champion normal plain ones, or you can get like the college ones. The college ones only go for about £15. They just have some name of a college, such as like Colorado, and then they just have the champion C there. For the vintage ones you can look for is like Reebok, Fila, Kappa. These are all really cheap sportswear brands, and they look really fashionable. Another type of hoodie you can get is like blanks, such as like Gildan, Fruit the Loom, all we do is hoods, Anvil. These are just plain essential hoodies. They cost about £8. You can layer them up well with like a white long line seat underneath and a pair of ripped jeans. Just plain essential hoodies that you can wear to mix up the colours in your wardrobe. Also, if you're looking for something a bit different, which is really in trend, is like the things with the flower patches. I personally make these. I made a black one and a white one. And I'm also selling these, so make sure to drop me a message on my Instagram, which is at Dom Hadley, and I'm selling these for £34, including delivery. So the seventh back to school essential it is hats. Sometimes, once again, you're going to be lazy. You can't be asked doing your hair. You just want to throw something on quickly, either forwards or backwards, so it is caps. With me, I've got three to show you here. I've got this beige Ralph Lauren one, this black kind of Adidas one, and then this kind of like streetwear one, which is like this from this brand called Six. So the hat that honestly doesn't matter, whatever fits your style. For me, I prefer like vintage dad caps, such as like this Ralph Lauren one. They're really cheap, they're like under 15 pounds style. Well, backwards, I wear all my hats backwards because I don't really just don't have the head shape to suit them forwards. Whereas other people suit like trucker caps, so I'd honestly recommend just getting any hat which fits into your category. If you're looking to buy hats, a few places I'd recommend. For high street ones, I'd check ASOS and Urban Outfits because they have a variety of different brands and different styles. And then when you're going for vintage ones, I'd check places such as Depop and Grail. So the eighth and final back to school essential it is watches. In class, sometimes if there's not a clock in there, you're gonna to wanna to know the time, you're gonna be on, need to be on schedule for like lectures, etc., like that. So men's watches, also they give like a different fashionable aesthetic to your outfits, but I'm gonna go for three cheap ones because I don't wear my expensive watches to uni because I don't wanna get them scuffed or scratched. So three cheap ones are brands such as like Casio, they do like their little gold one and silver one. Another brand is Seconda, they do like leather strap ones as well as silver and gold ones. And last but not least is a brand called Fossil, I'll leave the link for them in the description box below. Also I've paired up with a watch brand called Yord, they do wooden watches and I've got a giveaway coming soon so stay tuned to my channel. Overall I hope you lot enjoyed this video, I hope this lot made you more prepared for coming back to school with your outfits, your accessories, your bags etc. If there's anything I missed or should have added in, please leave it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, it really goes a long way. And if you're new here, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post two men's fashion videos every single week, one midweek and one every single Sunday. Overall, have a nice day, go check out the rest of my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. I look bisexual women. I do. Me, I buy cars, you just rent them. Lowercase. Niggas, it's snakes that got venom. Watch out. All these hundreds like I print them. Eh. Couple hundred for the dinner.